I'll see you in 1530, maybe 60 minutes. Who knows? Welcome back to Rewind with the Schwitty because it's coming to a theater near you. Today, we're gonna to be talking about wine basics again. We talked about these little guys, pocket aerators, but we never talked about why they're important. Um, and the reason is, is because of decanting. Decanting is an important part of wine drinking for, uh, for older wines, for bigger wines that need time to open. Um, it could be, for newer, younger wines that uh, are just big and bold and need time to just open up, or it could be for older wines that are stuffy and um, have not seen the light of day for decades. Um, so older wines need to breathe. Uh, decanting introduces oxygen into the wine, which allows it to oxidize the stinky aroma compounds into less detectable smells. Uh, it could also reduce the concentration of certain acids and tannins, making for a smoother taste. That's the scientific reason for it. The layman's term reason is because your wine needs to breathe. Not all wine needs to breathe, but like I said, uh, you want to decant older bottles and bolder wines uh, that need time to breathe. Uh, some resources suggest waiting 15 to 30 minutes or before getting into it once you've decanted. Uh, personally, I, well, I, I like to wait an hour, but that's just me. So when you're decanting a wine, especially an older wine, we're going to focus on older wines. You're going to want to take the entire foil off your bottle because more than likely sediment has formed. And if you're storing it correctly, it will have formed an area where you can, where you don't have to worry about it. Remember, if you are going to pull out a bottle from your cellar that has been sitting, you don't want to shake it about. Uh, you want to be as gentle as possible with it and make sure that the sediment doesn't get reintroduced and remixed into the wine. Now, if uh, I have a 2008 Grenache here from Grizzly, Grizzly Republic. Um, we bought this a couple years ago. Um, you could already see in the neck. I don't know if you could see that there, but there, there's just some sediment from the cork. Uh, tartrates, maybe. Um, so when you're decanting, You'll want to watch the neck, and once you start to see, you'll start pouring your wine like so. But you want to watch out for any sediment that's passing, um, which will most likely come at the end. Usually, you'll want a light source beneath the neck, which is why we took off the uh, foil in the first place. Um, right about here. Saw a little bit of sediment in there. Didn't want to make sure, didn't want it to get into the decanter. Um, I like to give it just a little swirl. This is kind of full for a decanter. Usually you'll want it to be about yay high. Uh, because it, there's more surface area for the wine to be exposed to oxygen. Think about it this way. You're not getting fully exposed in the bottle right here. Um, the bigger the surface area, the more, the more air that's going to be exposed to. Um, <laughs> I was just talking about this to one of my coworkers recently and they said some people uh, have recommended just throwing it into a blender. I think that would be awesome. <laughs> We're gonna try that down the road for a wind down Wednesday. Uh, 
just just to see if it works and it does work because it's rapid oxidation but if you throw your wine into a blender one you're crazy two uh, the blending is going to heat the the wine up which will probably push it above optimal serving temperature and uh, the biggest thing that you don't want to do to wine is to uh, have quick and varied changes in temperature that will ruin it faster than oxidation so we're gonna sit here and um, wait for this to decant so I'll see you in 15 30 maybe 60 minutes who knows So enough time's passed that we can try our decanted wine. Usually you'll just want to take a taste, see how it is. See if it's changed from when you've opened it. Ooh. This is uh, fascinating. It's smoky, kind of like a leathery meat smell to it. Um, I was just home in Washington. It smells a lot like salmon jerky. Yes, salmon jerky is a thing. Um, so that's what decanting does. It allows you to, um, it doesn't fast forward the process. It just uh, allows you a, a container for which to allow the wine to open up faster and quicker than sitting in a tight bottle. Um, this one's changed in the last half hour. That salmon nose, it started out really tight, which I know I didn't show you, but... Interesting for a Grenache. Um, I, would, I might even pair it with a salmon dish, uh, a smoked salmon dish. Lox, smoked salmon, cream cheese, bagel. That would be interesting with this. Uh, anyways, that's how decanting works. So. Don't be afraid of it. Buy a decanter. There's really cool ones out there. You don't need the big fancy ones. You just need something simple. I have a monogrammed one, uh, or, which is really awesome. It's from a friend of mine. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Jay. So I hope you can enjoy your wine in a proper fashion. Again, not all wines need to be decanted. Just keep it with older wines and bolder wines that uh, can use the time to slowly evolve as you're drinking them. And one of the most fun parts about it is starting with how tight it is and seeing at the end what it's opened up to. Every 15 minutes just tasting it along the way um, just to see how it's evolved from point A to point B and eventually to point D, E, or F. Thank you for joining me on week seven of Rewind with B. Schwitty. I'm probably going to stop numbering these weeks now that we're getting so far. I appreciate everyone's support. Uh, if there are any other wine basics, uh, gaps in your wine knowledge that you don't know at the moment, leave them in the comments below. I'll look them over. I'll we'll probably have it for the next uh, wine basics episode. Um, this Wednesday, we're probably going to do a Let's Play, and Friday, who knows, man, who knows. Uh, thank you for joining me here on Rewind with B. Schwitty. Please comment, like, subscribe, share, and do whatever on your socials to talk about this show. Um, I will catch you next time.